All right, everybody, I wanted to show you something here real quick. So I've been using this bottle of oil here for a while. This is from Liberty Lubricants out of Idaho. This one's a couple years old. I've got another bottle around here with the label on it, but I swear <clears throat> it's Liberty Lubricants with the label can come off of it over time, unaltered. Um, over here in my mess, I've got another bottle of it somewhere. I could show you it's the same bottle with the Liberty Lubricant. But anyway, this one's about three or four years old now. When I first got it, um, it's been good oil. I really liked it at first. You know, it's real thin, kind of a kind of a weird milky white color. It's some kind of synthetic, and they claim it's good down to like 50, 60, 70 below, something like that. Um, I've done a little bit of cold weather testing with it. And it wasn't super impressed. It does still kind of freeze up in the cold from what from my testing. But um, that's not what I'm here to show, to show you guys here. This, like I said, this bottle is a couple years old. I found this one when I was cleaning just now, and the uh, the cap was open on it and a little bit of dripped out. And what I noticed is this stuff turns into almost like grease when it gets older, which uh, kind of like WD-40, we know that we don't use WD-40 on guns because it will, over time, kind of gum up and start gumming things up. Well, apparently this stuff does the same thing, and I'll show you here. Go ahead and um, bring my camera down. Oh, wrong way. Go ahead and tilt the camera down here. I put this little blue thing on the... Uh, on the bench down here. Go ahead and pull the, uh... anyway, look how thick this stuff. Oh yeah, look, I got the bottle almost all the way upside down. Oh, here it comes. Yep, yeah, look at that. I like, there we go. The bottle's actually still got quite a bit in it. But look at this. Look, it's not even running coming down there this so and uh the, the little bit that had dripped out of the container i wish i would have kept it but it had actually been exposed to the air let me move this camera back up but yeah the, um i already threw it away before i decided to make this video and i started experimenting with this over the last few days with this bottle and yeah when it's exposed to air and it sits out it just turns into into grease that's not good 1911s, anything like that, that needs to be highly oiled. I've always used uh, ATF up until I found this Liberty Lubricant, and I liked it for a long time. But um, I don't think I'll be getting any more. I don't think I'll be getting any more. I'm not real happy with it. And uh, you know, like if you're shooting competition or something where you're using your gun, you're cleaning it every other match and just grease and oil it up before match, it was great. I used it for a long time for that. But here. I'll show you the same thing. We'll put a little bit, uh, a couple drops of trans ATF on this, uh, on this, um, go ahead and just put just a little dab. One, two, three, four, five drips. There we go. Just a couple drips. Now watch this ATF. I want to tip this pad up. Yep, it just runs, runs right off of there. See that? Just runs all over the place. So that's what, that's what gun oil needs to do. It needs to stay needs to lubricate. It can't be sticky, it can't be gummy, it can't be grease. 1911s, I've tried them with grease, they don't work very good with grease. There's a reason we use oil, not grease on 1911s. So we don't want a grease that turns into oil over time. So, um, yeah. Long story short, I won't be using this Liberty, uh, this is my, this is my three minute and 47 second review on the Liberty Lubricants. I don't like it. Won't be buying it again. It's unfortunate because it's a small, when I was in Idaho, it was a small local owned company. I usually like supporting small businesses, local businesses, but um, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Can't have oil that turns into grease. Anyway, now it's a four minute and seven second video. Thanks for watching.